Hey everybody and welcome to part 22 of Spyro Year of the Dragon. In this episode we'll be going to Haunted Tomb. And in the last episode we defeated the Sorceress and finished off Dino Mines. So all we have left is this level and then the Sparks level and then we can move on to the Super Bonus Round. So next episode hopefully, hopefully with the big H will be the finale of this Let's Play and then I can start working on some new projects for you guys. I have a fun game in mind that I want to play. So it looks like we can't destroy that yet until we get something more powerful. Oh, oh. Damn Clay Shaper up there. I believe, I, I believe these guys are still called Clay Shapers. Kind of the reoccurring enemy from Spyro 2. Oh, that, I can go in here, ignore you, and destroy your tomb. Hey, I hit you. You scum lord. Scum lord millionaire. Okay, so don't destroy him until you destroy the uh, tombs. Because you'll kind of need his bombs to destroy him. Now. Oh god, did you see his head fly away? Now there's actually a skill point for just going in this dark tunnel. I guess it's like rewarding your explorativeness. I love how this is like yeah, an Egyptian based level, but at the same time, it's like a scary ass tomb. Oh, hey there, buddy. Oh, go on, throw another one. I dare you. See, I dared you and you died, so you didn't do so well. Oh, hey. Another life. Getting lots of lives when we prepare to go to the super bonus round. And plus, getting some big gems there. Another mechanic in this level are these falling rocks. Yeah, these things actually... I don't know, they put a lot of work into this one level. By adding a bunch of new mechanics that haven't been in any other level. Now we need... Oh, there's the switch. We need to hit the switch to open the door. You gotta run to make sure you get in. Just don't let it touch you before it, like, touches the ground, because then it will blow up in your face and it'll make you have a sad day there's a lot of 25 gems around here man oh there's two more of these things okay hey yo dude can I have your bomb thank you that's another one destroyed one left to go and then I can destroy you happily I guess level is just more uh of a level that requires some patience to do everything. And you have to charge into those enemies, and you can't charge through them. Like, they knock you back when you hit them. As you guys can see, there is another slide in this level, and it's that giant snake. Which is kind of cool, because it makes. Well, that was bullshit. Makes sense for it to be a giant cobra, you know? Actually, it probably would have made more sense for it to be an asp. Not a cobra, but. Yeah. Whatever. It's time the next game. There are wishes. Yeah, 14,000 gems, man. Give me back my extra health. Plus, apparently, give me a 1-up. Because I definitely need more 1-ups. All in the same level, apparently. That's our third 1-up from here. Or, well, extra life. Now, we're gonna actually have to go through these rocks twice. God damn it, I got hit by a rock. And I'm not talking about Dwayne the Rock Johnson, either. I'm talking about ugly, dumbass rocks that apparently also have bombs in here. And oh hey, it's still open. Oh maybe this one didn't actually have a a door that needed to be opened. Maybe it just opened by itself. Can you just throw your bomb down here. Thank you. Oh come on! I hate these off-screen shenanigans, man. Oh, well, thank you. And you're dead. Hey, our health respawned already. That's something good. Alright, I need you to get out of my way. Oh, hey! An egg! Named Christine! I don't really know any famous Christines or... Why do you sound like a man dragon? It's a man dragon! It's a transvestite dragon. That's what it could be. These guys always drop a 10. Has you ever noticed that? Okay, now the button for this one is way down here. 
I said other button was just to go backwards. Okay, I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's more rocks, right? Yeah, right here. <laughs> Wow, another 25? Just chillin' there, man. Hey, come on, throw your bomb at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Oh, come on. That was just a dick move. And we made it through. Okay, I need your bomb. There's another sarcophagus over there. Boom. Is it really a sarcophagus? Or is it something else? I'm not really sure. And there's a challenge portal in there. I believe that's actually the Agent 9 challenge portal. I think? Maybe maybe it's not. No, maybe it's maybe it's the Spyro one. I don't really remember what challenge it is. I know the Agent 9 one's in here and the slide's up there. So okay, that's the tank minigame then that's down there. Well, we we'll get our egg here. I see you've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Now, let's find out if your wits are as quick as your teeth. Do you remember the riddle? I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet, within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What am I? Surprisingly, it's an egg. A bandicoot? Hmm. Have you heard that one before? I never thought you'd get it. Very well. A bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorceress. Well, thank you. I need that egg, sir. It's Will. Will I am or Will Smith? I've waited 7,000 years for someone to solve that riddle. Now, I can finally head off to Seashell Shore to bury some bones. Ha! He lives in a tomb, and now he's gonna go bury some bones. Okay, let's go back down here and do this mini game first. Boink. I don't believe there's any gems here. The first round of the thrill is this: if one dragon can lay one egg in twelve years, how long would it take for a hundred dragons to lay one hundred eggs? It's still twelve years. You know, because obviously it won't change. If a dragon can lay an egg every year... I gotta be very careful. I believe, yeah, I believe you can strafe. Having the extra health here is very beneficial, though. Boom! And, wow, we already beat that. Well, well. That was a fierce battle indeed. Please accept this prize for winning the first round. Yes. Which egg do we have this time? We have MJ, Michael Jordan, or Michael Jackson. Hey, you can juggle. You may now enter. Okay, enter the final round. Oh, and there's no riddle for this one. But yeah, more than double what we were just facing, which doesn't really seem... No. What? Are you kidding me? We slid right off the edge. I let go of R of L1 and it still did that. Oh, I guess we could do that attack too. It just doesn't really go very far. There we go. Alright, let's see if I can hit him. Uh-oh. There we go, that's perfect. Listen, you just gotta be patient with. I know you're there. Alright, for some reason my whole... whole cannon fire was delayed there for a second. There we go. Let's half of them destroyed. Oh, I guess there is health in here. Uh oh. Fuck. Oh, can you stop going left and right, man? There we go. We'll regain our health back. Okay, there's like no speed boost or anything like that in this. Oh. Well, what are you doing over there, man? Destroy him! 
<laughs> Easy. Oh. There's still one left, apparently. Like, in the main part of the arena. I wonder if we can, like, hit him just from, like, the side. No. Damn it. There we go, he's destroyed, and that only leaves one left. And he's obviously in the exact same spot on the other side. Ah! Woo! That was indeed a battle for the ages. You're the first dragon to win the competition in over a thousand years. I proudly present you this year's grand prize. Yay, another egg! Named TJ Detweiler. Bye, TJ. Let's leave. Well, let's go do the Agent 9 part of the level and then do the slide, and then we should be done with the entire level. One of those dogs with funny hats put a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple of times. <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny. Come to think of it, oh boy, that dog's gonna pay. Dude, it's your own fault. Ah oh, man. Behind this. Okay, let's see. Here's the riddle. I fall. Uh, it's your. Sh it's your footsteps. Well, thank you for calling me quite clever, but I am a monkey. Monkeys are cleverinos, you know. Snakes! Snakes on a plane! Apparently these snakes have the power to breathe fire. Thank you. Please come again. Could use some health since Spyro was already pre-injured. Now these Vaz things will actually summon more snakes, so be careful. Whoa. Ah! There we go. Now destroy the rest of them. There we go. All dead. Oh, more snakes. This time we got mummies and... Ooh, some health. Mind if I do, game? Oh, come on, you're supposed to hit him. I don't know what you were thinking, man. There we go. Now what do we have to deal with? Well, the sarcophagi. Oh, you can just shoot them. Man, I thought you would have to get, like, bombs or something for them, but apparently not. And there we go, that one's cleared out too. Man, do we only use the bombs once in this game? Okay, no, never mind. There are bombs here. Oh, come on! Game's... Okay, you guys have way too long a range for being a melee enemy. Oh, some health over here. Mind if I do? Fuck you. Alright, please die. Okay, now can you throw me your bomb? There we go, you're dead. Just got one snake left, right? I believe it's one snake. Oh, never mind. It's it's another clay shaper. Hey there, buddy. Boom. Oh, and there's the egg. It's Roxy Roller. And there, that's the Agent Nine part done. 
all that leaves is the slide, which is just up here. And this should be where all the rest of the gems are. Starting off with one gem. I don't believe this slide is harder. Because it does have barriers. Well, I think more frequent barriers than the uh, other slide did. Malcolm in the middle! And I believe that's all the gems too, right? Yep, yeah, and the last 200 gems will be in the sparks level. Perfect. I just realized this level has a custom loading background, which is kind of cool. Okay, time to pick up some health here. Though it doesn't really matter because we're going to a Sparks level and Sparks doesn't use health. Well, normal health like everything else. Hey, Zoe, what have we got this time? Just before you kicked the sorceress's big, fat, ugly butt. She built a factory to make robotic bugs to fight sparks. But I don't think they're any match for him. Oh yeah, they just uh, built a factory to take on our little buddy sparks. That seems kind of weird. Huh. I believe we actually have to use the charge mechanic here again. Like, you know, where we have to go faster. Which is funny because they introduced that in the tutorial, but never actually implemented it in any other level. Like, we've been through four worlds and we finally have it out of the tutorial. Oh no, ladybugs. There's a lot of ladybugs. Oh man, more ladybugs. You know, like, a loose eyelash and it's kind of poking me in the eye? It's kind of getting annoying. I believe it's an actual enemy that spawns them. Yeah, it's some weird bejeweled bug. Oh, there's another key guy, but I don't want to take him down until I take down these things that spawn all the ladybugs. Can you please back up? Thank you. Thank you. You guys are pretty much just the egg thieves of the Sparks universe. Don't even need health yet, man. Oh. You're the eel of this level. Oh, he's dead. Okay, I'm assuming there's another spawner over here. Yeah, this guy doesn't move, though. Surprisingly enough. Well, it's apparently a shield. Wow, we almost have all the gems, and I did not mean to actually eat that butterfly. This shield has a long lifespan. Like, I mean crazy-ass long lifespan. Oh, that's weird. It's gonna be one of these where you just have to go through the right area. Whoa. Mr. Spawner, stop spawning, please. Ugh. More ladybugs. Well, now we gotta go in there and get the key. I assume there's a key in here. Or not. Just gotta open up the right doors, I guess. Uh, how about this one? It's not the red door. Is it the blue door? Nope. It's this door. Wait, what? Nope. It was that door, apparently. I was not expecting that. Oh, it actually hit me, but apparently it gave me health, so well, that's good. I believe the final boss here, though, is kind of annoying. Oh. Ah! I was not expecting you guys to come out yet. Huh. <laughs> Alright, sweet, with the power up. Alright, this what? Oh good, it's the one I actually enjoy to use. My knee is so messed up lately, it's so bad. I'm just like prepared for enemies to come in, you know? Alright, going down here to find the enemy spawner. You can hear him pooping it out, you know? Oh, why is he getting closer to me? I 
I meant to pick up that gem, but... Okay, wait. So then what's up here, then? If that's where... Oh, that's the final boss. We need a key. You gotta mean final boss, because technically it's... It's the final boss, other than, like, Super Bonus World. Like, cause you actually fight it after you fight the Sorceress. Okay, that bug just keeled over. And he just keeled over. I think the rest of the gems are just gonna be in here with these, these uh, enemies. There we go. And then the other green bug and then the um, other spawner over here will have the last gems. So there are no gems in the, like, the little boss area for the first time ever. And there, that's all of the gems in this part of the game. Well, for the main game at least. Can you just freaking die? Thank you. No one likes a... Uh, I don't even know what to call you. Here's the nuisance. Okay. Oh, yeah. This boss. Can't hurt his head, I believe. You have to hurt his body, and then he starts splitting into pieces. What? What? Oh, there you are. Man, that boss is a little easier than I was expecting him to be. That was a joke. Annabelle, the evil scary doll. That's 149 eggs. I believe there's actually 150 in the entire game. But there we go. We got 100% on the main game. So today will definitely be the last day that we play Spyro 3, at least I'm hoping. That last egg must have had some extra magic because it gave Sparks two new abilities. Now he can break open treasure chests, and using the atlas, he can warp you to any level. Just select the level you want, and press the square button. Sweet! Even though that really doesn't help us. So, in the next episode, my fellow friends of YouTube, we will be going to the Super Bonus Round. See you guys then, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.